वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक्स क्लास इन दिस सेशन वील गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू सॉल्व द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ए लैटरल सर्फेस सॉलिड्स यूजिंग सॉलिड एज वी एट इन सॉफ्टवेयर लेट वी गो टू द प्रॉब्लम द क्वेश्चन इज गिवन लाइक दिस ए स्क्वायर पिरामिड बेस फोर्टी एम एम साइड एंड एक्सिस सिक्सटी फाइव एम एम लॉन्ग एज इट्स बेस ऑन एच पी एंड ऑल द एजेस ऑफ द बेस और इक्वली इंक्लाइन टू वी पी इट इज कट टू विथ एन इंक्लाइन सेक्शन प्लेन सो एज द ट्रंकेटेड सरफेस एट फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री टू इट्स एक्सिस बाई सेक्टिंग इट ड्रॉ द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द ट्रंकेटेड पिरामिड so we can first we will construct that one in orthographic view then we will go to the development and they give a square pyramid and the condition they give on all the edges are equally inclined to vp that means we need to take in a corner condition so go to rectangle and your width they give on 40 so width also 40 and height also 40 for corner condition give the angle 45 degree then press enter we will get the pyramid the resting in all the sides are equal incline that means that all these lines will make equal incline to vp after finishing this we can go to line normal line draw the diagonal uh, opposite uh, corners joined with the line that means diagonal lines to get the center so this is pyramid we need to join all the uh, from all the corners to the center with the visible line but after finishing the truncated the remaining portion we will make it visible okay and coming to the naming so you can give this point as a a and this point b and your c and this one is d and here we can get o and to get the top view sorry front view we need to join the line from all the points to x y and then so here the height of the pyramid they give one 65 the height will be measured with respect to the center center is the same so we need to draw the line here with the length 65 and then join to the remaining base and then apex and here we can give the naming for this a dash and this will be b dash in the bracket d dash and this one is c dash and now this is o dash okay, now we need to uh, truncate this one by uh, by cutting plane that 45 degree passing through uh, it means bisecting it bisecting means we need to draw that line exactly at the midpoint of the axis so go to the line and then take the cutting plane and find out the midpoint so after getting midpoint click it and this line the inclination we have to take 45 degree you can ju just draw one side and then to get the remaining we can go to the extend to next and if you extend the line so we'll get this section cutting to the entire pyramid and now after cutting that so we can go to visible line and make it i can zoom and we can make the bottom portion of that remaining with the visible line and we need to name where and all it is cutting so we can give the naming uh, numbering for those points this is one on the a and next here we can give two for the b and then three can be given for c and four can be given for d the edges vertical edges d and same thing we can extend here to get in a top view go to the line normal line It'll draw the line from that point here from the one draw the line up to here so this is the vertical a to zero same a to zero that is a dash zero a dash to o dash you can join up to here and then for three you can get it like this and what about two and four the two and four is coming like this when you draw the line it is exactly on this so we need to uh, mark the points by taking the projection line from Two to four, up to this side, any of the side, or either uh, A dash side uh, edge or C dash side edge. We need to draw the projection line up to here with the zero degree. We can draw up to here and then draw projection down side up to here. We need to draw it and then so you can show the direction like this. After that, 
so go to arc by center point and take this o as a center and from the point where it is cutting this line so we can take the arc starting point and draw the arc to the b to o as well as we can draw the arc to o to d like this you can draw the arcs either side now these are the points we can name this is the point 1 and this is 2 and this point is 3 and this point is 4 now we need to join all this because there is a cut after cutting that we will get one more face here so you can join that 1 2 2 2 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 1 after that 1 to a and then 2 to b and 3 to c and 4 to d so like this we need to get the the truncated portion in a top view also so now we finish this one and we will come to the development now so while doing the development this is the conical uh, sorry uh, the pyramid shape the apex is there that uh, will not get a rectangular type here we will get the triangular type of when you unfold the this pyramid we will get uh, four triangular faces so how to get that so first we can go to line normal line and here go, uh, go to arc by center point and we can take in center here and then the radius will be given of the side length so we can measure the side length here so go to the smart dimension and get the total side length of this that is 70.89 is there so same length we can take an arc go to the one point and give the radius 70 Point eight nine, enter, and just draw the an arc. After that, go to line normal line from the center. You can join to this. This is the one edge. Now we need to get same triangle of the four segments. So for that, we can go to arc by center point and go to the end of this line. And this one we need to because side length it is they give on the forty in the question they give on forty. So we can show it here. in a by using the smart dimension 40 and the axis height also you can show that is 65 and from the starting point arc by center point from here we can uh, cut the four segments by giving the radius 40 enter 40 then draw the arc same from the end of this again take the same radius 40 and draw the arc and then again radius 40 and then draw the arc then the last go to the radius 40 and then draw the arc so then go to line join all these points here and then and last one and we need to join all these points here because this is pyramid and next we can give the naming this is uh, o and this edge is a b and this one is c and this one is d and this one is back to a like this we got all the or uh, the developed portion of all the uh, four faces triangular faces now we need to mark this uh, the length 1 2 3 4 on these edges so we can get the length of for those so we can uh, measure it we can use the split option to get the length you can uh, divide it here this line on this point Okay, next uh, we can select this line and split this on point and uh, get the dimension for that. That is uh, O two. That's two and four. And again, go to split and take the line and you can split it at the point three. And then again, go to small dimension and check this length. That is O two three. And now we got all these dimensions and then we need to draw the arc for respective. uh the points like on take o as a center and for the one so we need to get the distance 
okay this length uh, we can check it here that is 62.75 so go to rio and take center and the give radius 62.75 enter and draw the arc for you and same way here also you can same the take same radius 62.75 and then draw the arc and next to get 2 and 4 the dimension we got it uh, radius uh, 35.44 so go to the center here and give the radius 35.44 and draw the arc on the b to get the 2 as well as go to o and uh, for the d give the same length uh, that is arc 35.44 and draw the arc on this here and now to get the c so the point is 3 that is 24.7 and go to the o and then give the radius 24.73 so 24.7 and draw the arc on the c to get the 3 so we can name those points 1 2 3 4 and back to 1 now we can join those points with a visible line so go to visible line from the 1 2 2 then 3 4 and 1 and join the all the base with a visible line and also side here 2 to b and 3 to c and 4 to d okay now this complete problem is finished yeah.